We've all been there. Racing thoughts, difficulty concentrating, brain fog, anticipatory stress or the never ending to-do list, or ruminating about what was and how we should have done things differently. Whether we want to deem it anxiety or mental health condition, or we just want to call it imbalanced stress response, anxiety is on the rise. In fact, we've seen a 65% increase in medications prescribed in the U.S. over the last 15 years. And unfortunately, epidemiological studies show no enhanced outcomes with the use of pharmacological or medication influence than the influences of just talk therapy done 50 plus years ago. Short term, medications yield outcomes, but over the long term, they often cause undesired side effects, need for additional medications, and otherwise advances in mental illness. I've created the Anti-Anxiety Diet as a functional medicine approach to the underlying mechanisms that drive anxiety, mood disturbances, brain fog, and difficulty concentrating to create food as medicine solutions for whole body health, teaching you how to thrive versus simply survive. In my approach, I use six R's. I talk about how to remove inflammatory foods, identifying those most common irritants, how you can clean up your body, and we've seen in studies that inflammatory chemicals can cross the blood-brain barrier, creating havoc in concentration, focus, and neurotransmitter triggering. We next move on to how to restore your microbiome. We talk about the role of dysbiosis or bacterial imbalance and how you might need to plow the field before you can repollinate with those good bugs. We've seen in studies that lactobacillus and bifidocultures help to build serotonin and GABA, your main beneficial mood stabilizers for the brain. We then move on to repairing your gut lining. In this process, we're using foods like bone broth and gelatin that help to coat and soothe the gut. We've seen in advanced research studies that social anxiety and stress response alone can drive deterioration of the gut lining, which is seen in markers like secretory IgA and LPS. We move on from repairing the gut into restoring your micronutrient status. I highlight mood stabilizing minerals, the influence of B vitamins and antioxidants to help to optimize mood function and provide bounding energy. After we've addressed your micronutrients, we move on to rebounding your adrenal glands. In fact, those tend to be the star of the show when we're talking about anxiety and depression. Your adrenal glands make cortisol and your epinephrine or adrenaline and what are called your catecholamine or stress responding neurotransmitters. So we look at this gland as far as making sure that we can keep you from excessive output, which would be stressed and wired, but also rebounding so you have ample amounts of surge for healthy libido, cognitive function, energy, concentration, and professional drive and vigor. We then move from the adrenals finally to rebalancing your neurotransmitters. We talk about deeper levels of serotonin and GABA, those inhibitory mellower outer neurotransmitters, as well as the excitatory compounds and the building blocks, specific amino acids or protein compounds that help to create them, as well as the cofactors that play a role in activating them. Each chapter has a unique quiz to help you identify which R you need to start with as your heaviest influence. Some individuals may start with the adrenal element. Some individuals may enter in with the dysbiosis or gut bacteria, and others may start with that leaky gut or nutrient depletion. I know in order to get sustainable outcomes and make this a lifestyle change, that you have to enjoy the process. So I've ensured that the recipes I provide taste good and are things that you can share with your household members. These recipes include things like my matcha green smoothie, which has L-theanine for brain stabilizing influence, as well as my dairy-free cashew cheese, which you can use as a dip with a vegetable crudite, and my maca walnut caramels, which are a delicious end to any meal. When we use food as medicine and a functional medicine approach, we're addressing the root cause for long-term outcomes that allow the body to not only stabilize the mood and provide optimized brain function, but also may provide the pleasant side effect of weight loss, improved energy, stabilized blood sugar, and reduced medication load. 
I hope you'll join me and click the link below to purchase the anti-anxiety diet book. Also, you'll see the top five supplements that I use in my clinic, Naturally Nourished, to help to manage mood and create relaxation. Clients have experienced reduced tremors, heart palpitations, improved cardiovascular function and overall relaxation with improved sleep patterns, and most importantly, feeling like themselves again. Take the next step to reclaim your brain and join the food as medicine movement.